Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to make an ornament wreath. I've been seeing them on YouTube and I've seen a few different ways to make them but I said hey, why not give it a go? So what I'm going to use is, this is a pool noodle. Now it was, you know, just a long skinny noodle but when I got this idea yesterday I was like I wonder if I could tape it down. So I taped it down. It's like, oh yeah, perfect circle almost. I was like, mm, I should have waited till I was on camera to show people how to do that. But this is a white pool noodle I got at a Dollar Tree. And all I did was, you know, bring it together, put the ends together, and put some packing tape around it. I was out of duct tape. So, got my noodle ready. Got my Gorilla Glue sticks going. And I grabbed... I have 114 ornaments. Usually the videos, they say just get ornaments. I'm really like, how many? <laughs> uh, but one video, she was like, I used 114. So this is a 32 pack plus I have a 50 pack and I have a 16 pack and another 16 pack but I took about three out of the 16 pack. So I have about 111. Plus, I got some red jingle bells from um, Dollar Tree. Everything except the large ornaments came from Dollar Tree. I got this half off at Hobby Lobby. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up my white pool noodle with this red. It's like a velvety ribbon. It's a nine foot ribbon. Got this at Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to wrap up my pool noodle here and I'll be right back. Okay, I ran out of the velvet, uh, maroonish red, because of the way I was spacing it. I thought I'd have plenty, but I ran out after I hot glued it down. So I had to get some of this red velvet and finish it up, but you're not going to see it anyway. So Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the angle of my camera and show y'all how I glue all the ornaments on be right back okay now all i'm going to do is start hot gluing all my ornaments down so i have plenty of glue sticks so let's get started these in the basket.
basket. Y'all, I had forgot to put this on here, so all I did, I had a gap in between there because I hadn't filled it in yet. I went ahead and put my ribbon, so y'all, don't forget to put your door hanger uh, ribbon on there if you're going to put it on. I didn't want to wait to the end when I had too many of these ornaments, so I went ahead and fished it through before I filled it in and got a red bow. Well, a red ribbon. <laughs> so, this is what it's looking like so far. Now, I just have to fill it in and clean it up. looking pretty full it's looking pretty full I'm adding some bells to fill in the little gaps what's really helping it blend in is wrapping it in the red because I cannot tell <laughs> if there's a gap anywhere unless I'm like super just digging in there touching and staring because the red blends it all in so wrapping it in the red ribbon was a good idea I only have a few left of the medium sized ones now I'm going to start Plugging them in with these little baby ones. And one ornament left. Where am I gonna put it? Let's turn it around and see. All done. So here it goes. Let me find a better angle. I'll be right back. Y'all, here it is. Complete. I think it turned out pretty good. It's hanging right there on my wall. But here's a close-up. So if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I know, shameless plug. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.